Oh, what's up, people? It is Steven here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some easy coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, this can apply to FIFA Ultimate Team 10, 010, and it can apply to, of course, to 11, and possibly to FIFA Ultimate Team 12. Now, um, uh, first thing I'm going to say is, kids my age, it's coming up to the summer holidays. If not, it's already summer holidays for you. And I've got one thing to say, guys. 3 a.m. Get on at 3 a.m. They're an amazing, amazing offers to be found. I got my manager Arsene Wenger for 500 coins at 3 a.m. But uh, the first trick I'm going to give you is I've already said it here. Let's say I had 15,000 coins, guys. And um, I. Yeah, let's say I had 15,000 coins. I would set the buy now maximum price to 15,000. And the buy now minimum price to 200. And you want to set the league to Barclays Premier League because, um, well, let's face it, guys, I think Barclays is the best league, football league, because um, everybody knows the players from there. And the only good teams in the Liga BBVA are um, uh, Villarreal, Barcelona, and Real Madrid. Um, but yeah, let's face it, players in the Barclays Premier League go for more. And. Uh, <clears throat> well, anyway, it's called the 59th minute trick, and you want to set that to 15,000, that's 200, and you can just search. This works best at 2 a.m. as well, or 3 a.m., whatever. But what you want to do, guys, is we'll wait until this loads up. <clears throat> and basically, you want to go on at, uh, you want to skip all the way to page, well, page, it'll be a page thousand or something, it takes quite a long time. But you want to wait until the time remaining, it says 59 minutes and about 40 seconds. And you can switch between all of the cards, just flick forth between the pages. And eventually you'll find an amazing deal. You, you're just profiting off other people's stupid mistakes really. Someone might accidentally put, uh, I'll say Van Persie on for 5,000 by now or something stupid. Because once you put up a card you can't take it back down. The other day I saw Cristiano Ronaldo going for, I think it was 30,000 by it now. I think some idiot slipped up there. Who's this? Nanny. Yeah, it's a bit expensive. Um, next trick, guys, is what you want to do. Is you want to set the buy it now price to 300. Oops. I don't have 300 coins at the moment, I've just blown it all on um, that Van der Vaart card I was telling you about. I haven't, haven't been on Ultimate Team since. Buy now max minimum price. Yep. Uh, then you want to set it to League Any, and it's got to be le the level gold. Right. Search. Now, guys, it's, um, it's a bit of a trial and error. Sometimes you'll get cards, uh, no cards being found. And other times you'll get one or two, and basically, if you buy the cards for 300, you can discard them for 350 and make a 50 coin profit. There's also a spin off variation, which I've found to this. You set the buy it now price to 500, and you search, gotta be gold. Now, the minimum price you can sell a rare gold player for, and uh, my description of a rare gold player is you see this black, this black bit down here? That is gold, and it will literally be shining. There'll be a, there'll be a wave coming across it. Look, all my cards are shiny gold. Let me show you. Squads. <clears throat> oh, it's a bit laggy. Oh, it's not loading. Right there we go. Um, come on. Oh, my neck. Right. Uh, for instance, this is a shiny gold card. All these are shiny gold cards, except from uh, John Obi Mikel. See, shiny gold. You got that going across. You got uh, look, all these shiny golds. You have um, it's it's a good thing I've John in my in my squads because uh, you'll see that that has a black base while these have a gold base. That one is not shining whilst these are shining. Right, let's go back on trading. Anyway, the trick I was going to tell you before I got caught up in trying to describe what a shiny gold card is. Anyway, you set the buy it now price to 500 or 550. 
and what you do is you buy cards, you flick through the pages until you find a shiny gold card. Now shiny gold cards you can discard for 600 at least, even if it's a 75 overall, but um, you're making a 100 coin profit every time then guys, and EA does take 5% of your profit for some reason just to balance out the market I think. And um, yeah. Uh, two last, three last tricks rather. Two last tricks to do with the trading. You got to go on uh, development search now, guys. Contracts are just so so in demand. They're the one branch in the market which will never die out. They're in constant demand. Um, set the maximum buy it now price to three hundred and fifty or so, and you can sell it. The I only have two hundred thirty nine. I've said that, but um. You can even set to 400 and you might get a couple of cards. Nah, not today. But try that at midnight. You'll get loads, pages of um, player contracts that you can sell the next day at break time. Break time? Peak time. Which is about uh, 5, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. It's Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, yeah, that is peak time. Tea time, really. And... Uh, Yep, another thing you can do is fitness and morale cars, guys. Morale is key. Uh, team talks. And uh, let's go here. Yep, it's got to be gold team talks, guys. You can search. Yep, search. And you see this is squad morale plus 30. That should be going for about 1,000, but look here. Or is it not? Eight, look, that one's going for 850. That one's going for 1,100. That one's going for 1,500. But if I had enough coins, I could buy this card right here. Or not. That one's got for 1,200. I think it was this one. Or not. This one. Oh, where did I see that card? Literally. Oh my god. Is it just me? Was it right? Was it this one that I clicked? Oh. Oh, it was here. So this card, guys, is going for six hundred and fifty, and you saw those going for eight hundred, a thousand. Um, just keep on searching. It's got to be squad morale. They are very high. So you've been losing a lot of matches. They've got injured. They're in the reserves of the subs. They're never getting played. And you want to play them, they're going to play really bad because they've got a low morale, guys. So you want to get a team morale card or, a, or an individual player morale card. And you want to just uh, slap it right in the trade pile. So let's go to contracts. No. Fitness, rather. You you want to type in uh, 200 or 250 by it now for these fitness cards, guys. Because, um... These go for about 500, no, 400, I'm getting carried away, for normal bid, so you can always do that. I might be proved wrong here, let's just wait and see. Um, yeah, I think I've been proved wrong on that one, actually. But it works sometimes, and uh, last thing, guys, healing, actually. The all multi purpose healing kit, they go for a lot actually. Well not a lot a lot, but a lot for what they're worth. Essentially you could wait four games and wait for your player with a hurt shoulder to be healed, but no, people are too impatient. What they I've got uh Andre Arshavin with a currently too many users. Oh you bastard. Right, anyway, but Oh you you kidding me Oh dear I've got one last trick to show, but I haven't got enough coins. Oh no, I've lost connection. Right, anyway, guys, so sorry about that. I've lost connection. Um. Oh fuck! Oh, every time I do ultimate team, it goes wrong, guys. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Right, they're having a laugh. Come on, Ian, your servers are shit. 
so while this is loading up guys I might as well talk about what team I support I am a law supporter of Arsenal Football Club I think the best player in the world was and still is Thierry Henry he's regionally good it's a shame he's went to New York Red Bulls I think Arsene Wenger should hire it um, hire him one last time before he retires he's 30 something now 32 I think and that's um a middle age for a footballer who's getting on to his old side. Footballers normally retire at 36, but uh, my absolute favourite football, guys, has got to be Emil Heskey. Emil Heskey is just a complete quality player. He always slots in the top right corner. As you can tell, I'm joking, Emil Heskey is shit. Thank God he retired for England international football. But this last trick I want to tell you guys is um, you want to go on store. And you want to buy a normal bronze pack, guys. I don't have enough coins, as you can see, because I'm a complete tight ass. But uh, here we go. I'm going to go on a bronze pack. You, you are going to buy one of those. And people, naturally, if they have a bronze squad, enter bronze tournaments. They're going to want to buy bronze contracts for their players. And um, the, the minimum they can go for is 200 by now. So you sell two contracts, which is a minimum you get in those packs. And you have instantly got your money back. And if you get one more, then you made 200. If you get a good player, then you've then you've uh, made even more. But uh, yeah, that that is my video, guys. I hope all this has helped you out. Uh, I will show my international squads in one of my next um, CSP Sport videos. But um, I have a few other squads. Just gone squad selector. <clears throat> yep, I have my SSQ Wanderers, Smarty Squad Wanderers, which is my gold team, my main team, Smarty Squad United, which is my silver team, my Turkish Super League team, uh, SSQ Rovers, Smarty Squad Rovers, which is my all bronze team, or English bronze team, and my Smarty Squad International, which I will be showing you soon. If you want to see any of those other squads, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to rate the video, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching it.